Hey guys, today we're gonna look at Jason Mraz's I'm Yours. Uh, to figure this out, this is a mini vlog. To pick apart the song, I'm gonna do a song insight on this, but we're gonna walk through the steps of really understanding it. And so the first step is to look up the chords on Ultimate Guitar. Well, I'm just gonna search them. I'm gonna go to, to uh, the browser and search Jason Mraz, I'm Yours. And the best hit has, it's like 12,000 views. So we're gonna look at this. It's a bunch of five stars. So right away, it says capo the fourth fret. So it says it's in the key of B, but there's not a really a B major chord in here. So already that can be confusing. So we're gonna go over to YouTube, listen to the song itself, and see if these chords match up. Oh, that's already wrong. All right, so I'm playing through this song and it does appear to be in the key of B. I haven't added the capo yet because I want to just like hit play it. Okay, so I get it. I understand why people use capos. Um, actually, to be honest, I bought this capo like a month ago. It is literally the first capo I've ever had. Um, and I probably should have bought one earlier, like years ago, but I don't know. There's something about wanting to play the chords just with bar chords, um, but that's not to say that you shouldn't use one. So I'm gonna keep going, but I, I believe it is in the key of B. And so let's look a little further at it. back and forth on whether I should use the capo or if I should just play the bar chords. And I'm gonna go with the bar chords. And part of it is, yesterday I saw on YouTube, Sean Lennon, just in October, performed a song by his father, John Lennon, called Isolation. And damn, it was good. And his, he was playing all sorts of crazy chords up the fretboard and lots of bar chords. And that's what I think, I definitely wanna reach for that and become a better player. And so I think instead of kind of dumbing it down with the capo, nothing's necessarily wrong with the capo, but I think just kind of stretch, making the reach, it's gonna be better. So I'm gonna do it as bar chords on the guitar, but let's go now play it on the piano to see how these chords look.
basically six chords in this song and playing through it, getting a feel for the different inversions and finger movement. And now let's look at why we're using these six chords. Let's figure out the mode. All right, so there are basically one, two, three, four, five, six chords in this song. And they are B sharp major, F sharp major, G sharp minor, E sharp or E major, C sharp seven, and then D sharp minor. So this song is definitely in the key of B. It keeps coming back to B, it resolves to B. So to get our bearings, we're gonna write the B major scale along the top here. So we've got B uh, and then C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. That's basically the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight B major scale. So this is how the chords appear in order of appearance, but we wanna get some context here. So we're gonna place B, B is the one. So we're gonna put B major right there. Uh, F sharp is the five. So we're gonna put F sharp in the five position. G sharp minor is in the sixth position. So it's G sharp minor. E major is major four, or it's A4 in the four position. C sharp seven is right here, C sharp seven, and then D sharp minor is in the three position. So now we've placed them in context. So let's look at where these chords fit and what mode we're working with. So this B major is a major one, so that's in Ionian, and it's also Lydian and Mixolydian. So it could have been any of those modes so far. Let's look at C sharp, uh, major, major two, could have been maybe Lydian, because uh, it's not in those, but that also could be a minor, or a borrowed chord that is. So let's look at D sharp minor, minor three. Ooh, minor three shows up in Ionian or Lydian, so we're looking at those so far. E major, major four is right here. There's not a major four in uh, Lydian, so I'm kind of thinking this is a borrowed chord. Let's work that out. This is also in Dorian. So major four is in Ionian, Dorian, or Mixolydian. F sharp major, major five is in Ionian, Lydian, and that's all. And then G sharp minor is minor six. It's in Ionian, Lydian, Mixolydian. Um, okay, so we're looking at either the Ionian mode. Most of those chords are in Ionian. Most of the chords are in Lydian. So it's either Ionian with a borrowed major second, or it's Lydian with a borrowed major four. Probably more Ionian with a borrowed major two. So that's what I'm going with here. All right, so I do think this is Ionian. Um, it's pretty unlikely that it's Lydian. Lydian's a fairly rare mode to write in, and it just sounds so sweet that it really sounds like Ionian. So the next step is to look at how all these chords flow through harmonic space. So I'm gonna diagram that out next and look at it. All right, I've diagrammed out the chord progression here. And there's really basically two chord progressions. And for the most part, the chord progression in the key of B is one, five, six, four, or B major to F major, G sharp minor to E major and back to B. And in the intro, verse one and three, and then the chorus, it's just that loop. It's looping between those chords. Then in verse two, the bridge in the outro, it's the same thing, one to five to minor six to major four, back to one. But then a couple of times after you go from the six to the four, it goes into this borrowed chord, the major two, C sharp major, C sharp major seven, and then back to the tonic. And the reason this even fits um, is because it's the secondary dominant to the major five. So you've got C sharp major is the dominant of F sharp major, which is the dominant of one, B. So that's why it fits within this overall grand scheme. But that's basically the chord progression. All right, so that is it for this mini vlog on Jason Mraz's I'm Yours. I'm gonna keep ironing this out and working on the song insight. So there's gonna be a song insight on the song as well. So thanks for watching.